Come on in, pull up a chair, kick up your feet, and take a load off. As today, I will be taking a first look at the three mini expansions for Dawn of the Zeds from Victory Point Games. Yes, because when the zombie apocalypse arrives and those undead hordes are crying out for brains, I'll be safe. Howdy, howdy, howdy gang, I'm Jeff McAleer, the host of the Gaming Gang channel, plus the grand poopah of the GamingGang.com. Uh, also, happen to be the guy who's in charge of the live Monday through Friday episodes of The Daily Dope. So as I pointed out in the opening, I am going to be taking a look at the three mini expansions that are available for one of my favorite games of all time, Dawn of the Zeds. My nephew Cameron really loves that game. His friends dig it too. So I uh, do have, they're kind of like booster packs almost. They're like booster pack sized expansions. So there's a variety of different things in them as well. Some have cards, some have counters, I believe. Some have a mix of both. So we're going to take a look at these mini expansions. As I mentioned, these are from Victory Point Games. They're booster pack size. They do kind of vary in size as well, and we will see that when we open them up. Each of these do carry an MSRP of $9.99. They are also available right now. So let's switch on over to the other camera here. And we are going to be taking a look at the three different expansions. This pack seems to be the thickest of the bunch, I should point out. Anyway, uh, if you are someone who watches the Daily Dope quite religiously, uh, what, Monday we'll be doing episode 328? You will notice that uh, usually my noggin is like up here in the corner. So what I'm doing is something a little bit different with the standalone videos. I'm just going to talk. You're not going to see me up in the corner. Uh, reason being is because these are not live. So usually when I'm doing the live show, there's people in chat. And I, I would feel a little odd talking to people in chat and you can't see me for most of the show. That'd be pretty bizarre. But as far as doing unboxing and unboxings, I should say, and standalone reviews, yeah, I don't think you really need to see me here. So we've got the three expansion packs. Let's crack open the first one. I'm actually going to zoom in just a hair. And these are already kind of pre-clipped a little bit there. So let's open this on up. So we get a little rules fold out here, it looks like. So it says expansion one. Stepping forward. You may add this ref reference page into your Farmingdale dossier. Okay, so there's Carter Big Wheels, uh, who is actually a hero from 2nd Edition Dawn of the Zeds. Because we're in 3rd Edition now, but uh, the, <laughs> Carter was from 2nd uh, Edition, and he's got a big rig. And it's pretty wild because he can kind of drive through mowing down the Zeds. So this is kind of talking about how to utilize the new hero, Carter. Then we've got Checkmates Chess Club, <laughs> who are heroic civilians. We've got General Lee, who is a horse. Talking about that. And then we've got uh, Mrs. May Hauser, who is a new hero. So we get uh, two new heroes. We get, uh, well, I guess we get the horse as a hero too. And then we get new heroic civilians. So let's take a look what we've got here. So we got a little punch board. So that is uh, Ms. May. That is uh, Big Wheels. Carter. Here's the horse. And... Uh, get a thoroughbred token here so we've got both the horse and the thoroughbred i wonder if they're 
they're giving you the option of using a horse as kind of almost like uh, an NPC as opposed to a hero. And uh, this is our heroic civilian counter here for checkmates. And they're dual-sided. So that is, I guess maybe this is just uh, the action token for like transporting other heroes for General Lee. Then we got some cards. Not a bunch. We just have, what, four cards? So we've got Mrs. May Hauser. So sh her abilities are Thrifty Quartermaster, the Iron Volunteer, Combat Coach, and Pistol Top Shots. Then we get a bit of background about the new hero. We got the Checkmates, the Heroic Civilians. So uh, there's Strategists. And they're ruse de jeu. So, uh, oh, it looks like um, the more refugees in camp, the better this uh, this Uruk civilian counter gets. They get uh, higher strength. So a little bit of background info, a little flavor text about the checkmates. Then we got General Lee. See, General Lee's got a movement value of six. That is pretty high. Uh, I want to say that's the highest. I think that's higher than the dog that's in the game. Then we get uh, a bit of a background about the horse itself. And then we get Big Wheels Carter and his 18-wheeler, which, if you notice here, his hero counter shows the truck. Uh, if I remember correctly from 2nd Edition, he always is with the truck. So he's never without the truck. So, uh, King of the Road, Cargo Hauler, Zed's Plow, as I had mentioned that before. And then, uh, can do repairs. It says, Carter never suffers hits. His truck does. So, pretty wild. And then we get, uh, the info about Big Wheels Carter, who can also, uh, ferry cargo. So, as we saw, we've got the Cargo Hauler down there. So, that is what's in... The first of the mini expansions. Then we get New Player Blues, which seems to have quite a few cards in it. So, let's open this up. In fact, it almost seems like it's all cards. We'll find out. We'll see. All right, come on, come on. What the hell? Oh, I'm going to have to get the old hobby knife out. The handy dandy habit knife. There we go. Oh, and I see we've got Bouncing Betty. Uh, Bouncing Betty Boulevard, who, uh, if you saw my interview with Brenna Noonan, uh, we talked about that at Origins Games Fair. So uh, we get the new rule. For the Zeds. Oh, now we get uh, the uh, the other hero. So Sarge Hauser is kind of the uh, the character that they use in Dawn of the Zeds for like little sidebars as far as explaining the rules. So it turns out that May Hauser, who we just saw as a hero in the other uh, expansion, is actually his his wife so that's kind of funny so okay so we've got that we've got another little fold out here so it looks like we've got some new cards to add to the uh the story deck so here we've got uh talking about our new hero bouncing betty boulevard so we've got that and then we've got some new cards here denial is not a river in egypt Fortune favors the prepared. I am so psyched for this. Let's move, people! So, you can tell by the color of what chapter these come in. Uh, and these are, this is, these are cards that are early in the game. That's why I'm seeing it. Uh, I'm taking a guess it's called New Player Blues. Because these are sort of uh, early game cards that you could enter, uh, add into the deck. Panic is self-preservation. Shh. I know they're out there. 
Standing strongest when standing alone. There's no time for that. All right, then we've got the new end card. Are there any left? Sweet. City planners strike back. Cooler heads prevailed. The mayor's daughter's missing. And you're stuck on stupid. Okay. It says, if possible, select two player units in the same space. They cannot perform any further actions this turn as they're involved in a huge argument with each other. There you go. So we've got, there's our new hero token. We got some new Zeds. Got some new Zed tokens here. And uh, a new health counter. That's kind of funny. So we've got these there. And then we've got Bouncing Betty. Who, uh, her ability's nearsighted. She cannot make gunfire attacks. She's ruthless. It says when I, on her full strength side, all her hand to hand combat is on the human's times three column. Uh, headless. When she wins any head to head, I should say hand to hand combat against Zeds, she moves into the next space if it contains any Zed units and attacks. She stops when there's no new Zed units to fight or she loses. She cannot enter start spaces. And she's deathless. When she makes a saving roll, she can roll two dice and choose the better outcome. Well, she could still die. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's a pretty pretty powerful character here. So that is Bouncing Biddy Boulevard. So she is the new hero from the second expansion pack. Let's see what we got in the third. Hopefully, nah, this one didn't peel off well either. All right, come on. See what we got. So we got another little fold out. So this one's called Rumors and Rails. It looks like we may have quite a few new things. So, okay, so here's Rails. So, utilizing uh, trains. So, we've got train units. And then we've got rumors. So, we've got different rumor chits. So, that's uh, that's interesting. So, we got that fold out with the new rules. We've got some stickers. Huh. So, we've got stickers for the university, the farm, mine, and nuclear plants. And then we've just, these are just counters. There's just uh, tokens in this. No new heroes or anything like that. So we got these rumor tokens, which tells us when we flip them over, it tells us what the rumor is. Help arrives, police weapons locker, the red phone, rumors of our demise. Thesis, what have we learned? War plan black. DARPA battle suit, glowing green crystal, mystic pendant, Zed siren. Ancient burial site, federal gun registry, secret airbase, tall mart distribution center, uh, Dr. Martrus's uh, journal, who's like the the mad scientist in the game, who's a villain, who's a bad guy, uh, hardware superstore. So we've got these three punch boards, we've got some stickers, and we've got. Uh, Actually, a dual-sided fold-out with the new rules. And that is what we find with the three standalone... I sh well, I shouldn't say standalone. The, the three new expansions for Dawn of the Zeds from Victory Point Games. So I will uh, no doubt uh, fold these into the game. Uh, because I do play Dawn of the Zeds quite often. So uh, I will check these out and then I will uh, actually share my thoughts uh, and give you kind of a review of the three mini expansions. All right. So there you have it for this time out. Don't forget to catch me live here on YouTube on the Daily Dope. And as I always like to say, when you're not watching videos on the Gaming Gang channel, please visit thegaminggang.com. For all the latest in news, reviews, comics, movies, TV. Come on, you know the drill. 
Get your geek on at thegaminggang.com. And of course, I'll see you soon. If you're ready for some more fun and you'd like to check out the latest episode of The Daily Dope, my live Monday through Friday show that airs at 7 p.m. Central right here on YouTube, click right here. And if you'd like to roll the dice and push your luck and see a randomly selected video from the channel, click right here. You pays your money, you takes your chances. Once again, I'm Jeff McAleer and thank you for watching.